Bolton fans to face extra searches as club clamp down on protests against owner Ken Anderson Bolton will carry out additional searches on fans who are planning to protest against unpopular owner Ken Anderson at their next home match, and refuse entry to any banners which do not have a fire safety certificate. The Championship Crisis Club have also warned that anyone who breaks the stadium rules at the Monday night fixture with West Bromwich Albion could end up in court and face a banning order. Sections of the cash-strapped Lancashire outfit's outraged support are set to stage a demonstration before the televised clash with the baggies at the University of Bolton Stadium, and anti-Anderson banners would not be a surprise. Fed-up fans are furious at Anderson's controversial reign which has seen the former Premier League outfit lurch from one financial crisis to another. Wages have been paid late and a number of winding-up petitions have been lodged against Bolton, while Anderson paid himself £525,000 in consultancy fees in 2016-17 as the club posted £12.9 million losses. In a statement released on the Wanderers' website, Stadium manager Rod Cross disclosed that additional searches would be made at the turnstiles and issued the banner warning. Any banners that are brought into the stadium must not contain any offensive messaging and must have a fire safety certificate, Cross said. Additional searches will be made at the turnstiles by our stewards to ensure that steps are taken to prevent any disruption of play and to make sure that everybody attending can watch the game in a safe and friendly environment. We would request that you respect others and remain within the law. Cross also took a swipe at those planning to protest, claiming that their actions would not help manager Phil Parkinson's relegation-threatened side. We believe that any action of this nature within the stadium bowl will not be beneficial to the players as they prepare for a very important match, he said. But we do understand that some supporters may wish to voice their opinions. Cross also vowed that anyone found breaking stadium rules would face the consequences. Supporters are reminded that any breaches of the ground regulations, which are issued by the EFL and are standardized throughout the leagues, may lead to action being taken against the individuals concerned and also the club itself, he said. This may result in court appearances and possible banning orders and the club could also face wide-ranging sanctions from the EFL-FA which may result in an unlimited fine, a points deduction and future games being played behind closed doors. Encroachment and the throwing of objects onto the field of play are criminal offences and will be meticulously monitored by our stewards, the police and extensive in-stadium CCTV.